Esa es la actitud. Sí. <risa> Pues sí, porque pienso, pienso que entre todos nos podemos ayudar. Pues sí, así se aprende. Tenemos chat. ¿Cuándo nos aprende? Claro. Hola. 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 So that's okay. No, no teacher. No, a, 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 vamos a, a repasar. Y vamos ah, a repasar ahorita. Ooh, great estudio. The, the practice, the yeah. practice, the page, the number one. Es pésimo hacer. You were practicing. Very nice. Yes, yeah, pues sí. Very nice. I like it. You are very responsible students. Okay. Uh, so guys, give me just a quick second. Uh, thank you, gracias por esperarme. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, yo sé que la, la lluvia, you know, uh, está como fuertecita en algunos lugares. And definitely here, you know, se fue, yo estaba preocupada. But thank you for being here. Creo que a alguien más también se le fue la electricidad. I think. Sí, uh, a no. mi compañero, César. Lo acabo de leer. Ah, ok. A César. Solo me cambió el micrófono. Give me just a quick second. Okay, so yeah, I can hear you better now. Okay, guys, uh, so thank you, thank you so much. Uh, we are going to get started with today's class. Vamos a trabajar, oh, give me just a quick second, let's compartir mi pantalla, hold on, hold on. We are going to be working today with, 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 Simple present tense and also time expression. So give me just. Logran ver mi pantalla. Can you see my screen? Yes. 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 Okay. Thank you. All right. So what are we going to uh, be doing today? Take a look. Uh, this is station number two. Apenas la segunda, right? Uh, vamos a hacer. Pero, yes, la yes, pantalla que, pero la pantalla que vemos es solamente donde aparece su nombre y el horario. Welcome. Yes, yes. No. Yeah. yeah, don't worry. Oh, okay. Esa es la buena. Ok, so, tal, tal vez nos vamos como a alargar un poquitín eh, today's class para cumplir con los 120 minutos que nos piden. Eh, it's a form, así que les, les agradecería y me ayuden con el tiempo, all right? Solo son un par de minutos más que les, les voy a robar, all right? Uh, so today is session number two. We are going to like go over some general things. Creo que ayer estuvieron todos. Yeah, everybody was here. Así que no, no, eh, sería como mucho. And then just to talk about simple present statement. Continuamos con simple present. Pero ahora incluimos la parte de um, time expression. De hablar como con qué frecuencia hacemos algo. How can you do something? We also have a speaking practice, a wrap up, and then a homework assignment, right? So, todos me hicieron la tarea de ayer in the platform. Yes. 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 I gotcha. <laughs> no, it's okay. Sorry. It's okay. No, don't worry. Don't worry. I understand. Solo, eh, lo más recomendable es siempre hacerlas día a día para que no se nos acumule, right? Y luego sean como muchas tareas juntas. So, that's very important. Now, um, What are some of the things that I want to mention? Eh, la primera me ayuda con su attendance. Soy veo 17 conectados. Los demás espero que se conecten too. Eh, also, eh, camera, right? So, ayúdenme siempre, please, con las cameras. Recordamos que en la tarea necesitan 8. And your participation is super, extremely important, right? Now, um, yes. Yo tengo problemas con la cámara. O sea, ah. sí la tengo activada, pero no, no me deja... No le deja como no, activarla. Me dice, ajá, y me dice que mi internet es inestable. Ah, quizás sí la dificultad es con el internet. Uh -huh. Sí, porque yo veo el, 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 el cosito. Ajá, me parece de hecho un poco raro. Quizás uh -huh. por las lluvias, Verónica. Esperemos que, que mejore un poquito y, 
Pero la, aquí está. Y les permite conectar. Gracias. Thank you so much. Sí, si sigue teniendo dificultades, si no es por internet, me avisa para también comentarle a los chicos de soporte. Y creo que ayer me le ayudaron a alguien para que le indiquen qué hacer, right? But no worries, Fisher. no worries. You're good. Eh, yes. Eh, una consulta. Eh, yes. I'm eh, sorry. Ya no, no vamos. No reconozco las voces. Que, uh, who, Sandra. Oh, Sandra. Okay. Yeah, tell me, Sandra. Eh, no hay foro en esta unidad. Oh, no, mis, ya se los activo. La disculpa del caso ayer se me, se me escapó, pero ya se lo voy a activar para el día de ahora. Yes. Thank ok, you. muchas gracias. Thank you for the reminder. Ok. Uh, okay, so let's begin with the vocabulary that we are going to be checking today. And here we have vocabulary review. Uh, and we have some questions. So, what we are going to do here is answer the questions, pero sin usar el diccionario. Try not to use a dictionary for this activity. Solo lo que ustedes recuerdan, whatever you remember. For example, What do secretaries do? What do they do? What do secretaries do? Write a letter. Report. Write a letter, write report. Uh-huh. Uh, Organize meeting. Organize Answer calls. Check emails. Answer calls, check emails. Christian creo que dijo algo para que couldn't listen. And emails. Okay, send emails. Uh, what was that? Can you repeat? Calcium. Calcium. Oh, Clean. yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right. So call, yes, make calls. Uh -huh. So to different people, yes? Yes, very good. So it just check. Still call. Answer and make. Yes, very good. Thank you, Andres. So. Organiza, check, organiza the meeting. Organize meetings. Uh -huh. so, meeting. Don't worry, don't worry. You're super good. So, if you pay attention, creo que nadie revisó el diccionario. I didn't see anybody in Google Translator or looking for the word. So, vamos a intentar recordar. We are going to try to remember what do these people do. So, we have secretaries. What do nurses do? What do dentists do? What do farmers do? So, les voy a dar cinco minutos. I will give you five minutes para que tomemos nota. You can take notes. What happens if there is new vocabulary? Well, if there is new vocabulary, y como la idea es no usar el diccionario, you got not to use your dictionary, not Google Translator. Eh, intentamos expli explicarlo de la forma más fácil. For example, eh, a realtor. What does a realtor do? Probablemente es una palabra nueva, I think. So, intentemos pensar y adivinar, all right? Sin diccionario, no diccionario. So, lo que se le venga a la mente, whatever comes to your mind. So, tenemos cinco minutos, you got five minutes to complete it. Get your notebook, get a pen, get a pencil. Eh, in your computer, you can use your computer as well. So, escribamos, what do nurses do? Oh, nurses, eh, you know, take care of sick people. Nurses help eh, doctors. Nurses are, etc., etc. Five minutes, five minutes. Pero escúchame el, el traductor. El traductor, ¿no? Se delató. Sí, ya le escuchamos. Oh, no, no. Uy, ¿qué fue eso? ¿Fue eso un traductor? Remember, come on, come on. Remember, remember, yeah, the, the idea, guys, the idea, this is very important. Um, Nadie escuchó que era el traductor. <laughs> okay, remember, uh, this is important. La idea es que nos retemos a nosotros mismos, you know, yeah. to challenge yourself. Eh, no, no se compliquen con el vocabulario. Don't complicate your life con palabras rebuscadas. Sino de eso, that you remember, 
make it. Okay, try to try to get it ready. Y creo que fue Ada ¿eh? la que dijo eso. Ay, Adita. Okay, guys. Okay, let me just uh, refresh this. In caso que no, no, you, you couldn't be here. Eh, se acabamos de entrar o no, no. You couldn't listen to me before. Let me just um, refresh this. So, ¿qué vamos a hacer? What are we going to do here? Tenemos preguntas. We got some questions. What do secretaries do? What do nurses do? What do dentists do? Entonces, vamos a intentar recordar el vocabulario. Oh, what is a nurse? ¿Y qué hace? What do nurses do? ¿Qué hacen las enfermeras? What do they do? Oh, a nurse. Um, guys, give me some ideas. <laughs> what do nurses do? Attends a person. Oh, okay, okay. So they can help, okay. Yeah. Uh, they help, work, help, they help the temperature to the ah, sick people. Say the temperature. Yes, very good. Uh -huh. Help so, a doctor. They help, help doctors. Doctor. Yes. Uh -huh. They assist, an, assist an, a doctor. They assist, assist doctors. Them. Very good. So you see, vamos creando vocabulario sin diccionario. We are making like a list or our own vocabulary. So, no es como una lista lo que vamos a hacer, sino indicar qué hacen. What do they do? A nurse eh, assists doctors. A nurse helps doctors. Eh, teacher, eh, eh, the question is in three, per, three person. And oh, the, question, the questions here, they can be plural or, but your answer plural. can be plural or singular. There's the, no problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for example, you can I'll say... Ask, I'll to wear. Yeah, no. you, you, the thing is that you can, can say nurses in plural, or you can no. say a nurse. When, when, when I answer the question, uh, she, she, she takes care of the ill. Yes, exactly. No. Si usted me dice she, entonces si le vamos a agregar ese. Pero si me dice yeah. they, no es necesario. It's not necessary. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, oh, very good. Estamos recordando. You're remembering. Oh. Teacher, a question. Yes, what is your question, Andres? That significa the real, real, real. Okay, uh, realtor is a very difficult and not common word, but it's a job. Uh, what comes to your mind? Okay, hagamos un brainstorming. ¿Qué se les ocurre? What comes to your mind? Realtor. Any idea? What is a realtor? Un tol real. 
Okay, lo que se le tenga, remember, the idea is not dictionaries, not dictionaries. So, realtor, realtor, what's the meaning of realtor? So, real, okay, that works. Otra idea. La torre real. <laughs> Una torre, ¿verdad? <laughs> oh, pero es un, es un empleo, it's a job. It's ah, a job. Pues sí. estoy pensando que trabajo puede ser. Okay, I will give you one clue. They sell houses. Vendedor uh -huh. de casa. Sí, bienes y raíces. Yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yes, That's yes, the realtor. Yes. Uh -huh. Real estate man. Uh, Real estate agent. Exactly, exactly. Uh -huh. Yes, very good, very good. Okay. The one. Uh huh. Okay, two more minutes, two more minutes. The engineers One more minute. Are you ready? Did you finish? Or do you need more time? Everybody finished? Finish. Yes, yes. Do you need more time? One minute, two minutes? Fatima, did you finish? Uh, Hassan, finished? Finish. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, Elizabeth? Yes. Ava, did you finish? Luz, did you finish? No, teacher. Uh, one minute, two minutes. How much time do you need? Uh, three, three minutes. Three minutes. Okay, we can wait a little for you. No worries. I will give you yes, some. In the meantime, guys, in the meantime, podemos agregar, especially for realtor, que no es como muy común, so you can add more ideas. What do they do? Manager, there are a lot of things that a manager does. So what does a manager do? Podemos agregar no solo una, right? We can add more ideas and we can increase our vocabulary.
Okay, everybody. So let's start. Let's get started. I would like everybody's participation. Quiero escuchar las voces de todos. So not only one or two people, right? So I want to listen to everybody, everybody. So um, number one, we check it already. Number two, vamos con el número dos. What do nurses do? You already gave me some ideas. They help doctors, they work in a the hospital, they pay the temperature, yeah. Eh, any other idea? Tienen algo diferente? Do you have anything else? Check the patient. Oh, okay, yes, that's right, that's right. So they take care of patients, yes. Algo más con nurses? Administration de, de injection. Ah, okay, so they give you shots. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. they administer injections, okay, very good. Yes, Edith, tell me. Edith. How do you pronounce um, P A T I? Okay. I give me, give me, give me, give me. Sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. Can, can you repeat? P A T. I'm sorry. P A T. A T. Uh huh. I. Uh huh. E N. T S. Oh, okay. That is patience. Patience. Pa uh -huh. Patience. Okay. Yes. Patience. Also, uh, like paciente de paciencia is a patient. Patience. Oh, permítame. Okay. Give me just a second. Lo estoy mandando en pri privado. Uh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is in the private. I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, the word is pay. patience. Yes. Patience. Mm -hmm. Patience. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Now, a dentist. What does a dentist do? What does a dentist check, do, guys? Check the teeth. Check the teeth. Mm -hmm. Brush the, the teeth. Brush. Maybe, brush, okay, brush. brush. Maybe brush. check. They brush. take brackets. Oh, okay, they give you, yeah, they give you braces. Mm -hmm. Extracts, extract. Extra, ah, extract. Teeth. Very good, extract the teeth, yes. Rellenos. Rellenos. Okay. Um, Make part. Rellenos are called fillings in English. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Clean teeth. To okay. Clean they teeth. clean. They clean. Uh -huh. clean the teeth. Mm -hmm. They clean teeth. Extract mm -hmm. teeth. They extract, <laughs> they clean, they give you fillings. Como Asa dijo, hacen rellenos. They give you fillings. They make fillings. Mm -hmm. eh, ¿Alguien más tiene algo diferente? Do you have something different? Brush the teeth. Luz, can you repeat? Endodoncia, this endodontis. You can say endo. Endo. Yes. Endo. endo. Uh huh. Like super strange. <laughs> Make endo. Take endo. out the crutches. Take out the. Sandra, can you repeat? Take out the. Take take out the crutches. The crutches. How do you spell no. that? La cara una muela. Uh, ah, you can use extract. Yes, you can use extract. It's extract. Yeah, okay. extract. Extract uh, a tooth. Yes. Okay, make endo. Endo es como la forma cortita de endodontics. You can say endo. I have an endo. Uh -huh. so, and it's okay. Se le entiende. People understand this. Okay, good. What about a farmer? What does a farmer do? What do farmers do? Take care of cows, chickens, and ducks. Plant. Take different seeds. Yeah. Yo tengo fertilize the land. Okay, okay, fertilize the land, yes. Yeah, anything they, else? They collect the crops. Very good, they collect the crops, yes. Yes, yes. Algo más? Anything else, guys? Take Elizabeth? Grow. 
Francisco? Take care of animals. Take care of animals, yes. No he escuchado a varios. Vegetales. 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 You can say vegetable. Vegetable. Kill the animals. Kill them. Grows. Beige. Eh, Verónica, can you please repeat? Grow beige. Okay, grow vegetable. Vegetable. So seed. Okay, yeah. So also, like sow so some seeds. Thank so. you. Okay, very good, very good. Now, uh, let's go with engineers. What does an engineer do? Educators, design, and construction. Thank you, Elizabeth. They did the care of the scene and, and construction. They take care of the sink and construction. Okay, okay. Francisco, can you repeat? They the sink building. Okay, they design the buildings. Yes, Herson? They fix uh, the things. They fix? Things, cosas. Ah, oh, okay, things. Yeah, they fix things. Eh, creo que escuché a alguien más. I'm listening to a voice, pero no sé de quién es. <laughs> they, they, they review plans. They review the plans, okay. Or depending qué tipo de engineer, they can review the, flu the blueprints, como los, los planos, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, that can work. Now, I got a question. Vamos a saltarnos al manager. What does a manager do? They dedicated to taking control and leading a team. Okay, thank so you. Was a realtor, no. Um, no, let's just skip the realtor. Later, vamos a revisar más actividad del realtor. Let's okay. skip it. Mm -hmm. And the manager, ¿qué más hace manager, guys? What does the manager do? Supervise, supervise, so everything. Supervise, Fatima mencionó también supervise, okay. Attend the person, attend the person, administration. Attend people, yeah, administrator, administration, and, uh, obligation, yeah, that works. Anybody else? Supervision and deployer. Okay, so they supervise, supervision. Okay, okay, that's very good. I like it because I listen to a lot of vocabulary. Supervise the orders. Yep, that works, definitely. Okay, guys, very good. So, uh, I got a question for you. Utilizaron el diccionario? Did you use your dictionary? No. Yes. Honestamente? No. Yes. No. no. Okay, okay, okay. So, si no lo utilizaron, very nice. Si lo utilizamos, it's okay, pero la idea es que seamos independientes un poquitín, right? Y a eso vamos encaminando. Okay, let's continue. Uh, and here, guys, tenemos like a little conversation that we are going to practice. Vamos a practicar terceras personas un poquito de simple present with an expression. So, I got uh, Sonia and also I got Matt. So I would like to have two volunteers help me read it. Uh, Madeline, would you like to help me with Sonia, please? Yes. And uh, thank you. And Kristen, no escuchado a Kristen well, ahora. Kristen, please, Matt, well, can you help me with Matt? Okay. Comenzamos. Sí. What does Dominic do? Well, she's a secretary. Oh, what does Dominic do? Hello, hola, hola. Hola. ¿Qué pasó? O hola, chicos. No sé, creo que se me mezclaron los audios. Give me, uh, hágame solo un favor enorme, enorme. Um, Muteenme los audios, please. Let, let me mute, mute you. Para que podamos escuchar a Christian y a Madeline. Si me ya está muy seco. There we go. Okay, guys. So, lo pueden activar. Okay. Now. What does Dominic do? Eh, Activalo. 
Well, she's a secretary. Oh, I see. What does she do every day exactly? Oh, I see your point well. She types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Nice, excellent job, good pronunciation, guys. Okay, clear and easy to understand, very good. Now, you can see the word here, for example, types. You see, sense, okay? So, if you remember, we are talking about she, so we use third person, singular. Now, let's take a look at this grammar aspect. It says, select the correct form of the verb to complete the sentences. Number one, what is the correct answer? She type or she types? Types. 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 The second? Does. Yes. Yeah, the does. second, okay. Does she write late? Question number two, do she or does she? Does, does she. she. Very nice. Three. Does she arrive or does she arrives? Arrive. Does, does she, she arrive? Arrive. Arrive. Number one. Uh, okay, one more time. One more time. Arrive or arrives? Arrives. 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 This is tricky. This is tricky. So let's remember. Tercer persona singular, cuando tengamos una pregunta, whenever you have a does, no se le puede agregar ese. We cannot add it. Cuando le agrego esa, one more time, take a look. She types. Esa no es pregunta, es una afirmación, ¿ya? Y tenemos she, she types. Le agrego ese porque digo she. Ok, question, la número dos. Dice arrive. Si se fijan, no lleva ese. Porque la pregunta es, does she arrive late? Number three, otra vez es pregunta. Significa que no va a llevar ese. Does she arrive sin la S, right? So, solamente de recordarse un poquito con ello. Entonces, vamos a repasar gramática. Let's take a look. Simple present tense. ¿Qué, ¿Cuáles son las cosas que yo debo de recordar? First, terceras personas. ¿Quiénes son terceras personas? She, he, she, he, and it. She, it. Todos los singulares, she, he, and it. Very good. Y si yo digo, por ejemplo, Sandra Beatriz and Sandra Patricia, sería todavía she. No, is they. Exactly. Ya no es tercera persona. Tercera persona significa una, right? One person, singular. Now, plural. ¿Cuáles son los plurales? They. They. Uh -huh. They. You, we, 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 all, we, solamente you. son tres plurales. They, you, we, you. we, and they. they. Esto, that's it, okay? Now, preguntas. ¿Qué sucede con las yes, no questions? Con las preguntas yo voy a utilizar does para singulares. Lo cual significa does he, does she, does it. Sin cambios en el verbo. No puedo modificar el verbo en preguntas. Cuando utilizo do para los plurales, we, you, and they. ¿Ya? Yeah? So vamos a intentar recordar eso. Now, eh, si se fijan, acá dice, no sé si logran ver toda la pantalla. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> okay. It says here que vamos a escribir tres ejemplos. We are going to write three examples. Three positive, three negative, okay. Uh, and three questions utilizando esta estructura para terceras personas. Puede ser tercera persona singular e intercalémosla con tercera persona plural, ¿ok? And the verbs in the column. Podemos usar cualquier verbo que tengamos acá. Organize, arrange, hand in, invite, send, check, report, like, go, type, play, and read. So, escribamos tres ejemplos. Por ejemplo... Uh, she reads the, uh, the mail, okay, every day. Yes, it's all, right? Negative. She doesn't type fast. She types slowly. Now, preguntas. 
Does your sister uh, organize parties? Uh, does your sister, I mean, do your sisters report to their boss? So, vamos a hacer tres positivos, tres negativos, tres preguntas. Eh, este es un repaso de lo que vimos en nivel 1, ok, es lo mismo, pero si por alguna razón nos quedamos bloqueados, no se recuerden, please let me know para que vayamos como pasito a pasito nuevamente, right? So, intentemos seguir esto, try to follow these guys. I'll give you five minutes. Teacher, repeat. How many uh, sentences? Uh, three. Lo, de, de, give me a second. No sé si logran ver mi pantalla completa. I'm not sure. Uh, logra ver la instrucción. No sé si no. les estoy mostrando la pantalla completa. No. The first line, no. Uh, ah, ok. So, un segundito. Oh, I know. I know the reason. Ok. Just give me a quick sec. Lo logran ver ahora. Yeah, right. So, write three positive, okay. negative equations. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Tres oraciones positivas, tres negativas y tres con preguntas usando los verbos de la columna. Yes, miss. That is correct. Pero podemos hacer eh, como un como un reciclaje, right? Por ejemplo, puede utilizar un verbo en positivo, negativo, en pregunta. Por ejemplo, imagínense que yo utilizo uh, Check, ok. So, positiva sería como, como vamos a usar también terceras personas, podemos decir. Um, my boss checks his email all the time. Ya está, positivo. Ahora la negativa. My boss doesn't check his email all the time. Y luego la convertimos en pregunta. Does your boss check the email all the time? Entonces estamos como reciclando lo mismo, pero en, en eh, formas diferentes. Podemos hacerlo así. Con el mismo verbo. Con el mismo verbo, correcto. Ok, thank you. You are welcome.
Oh, guys, puedo quitarle las puedo quitarles la pantalla un segundito. Yes. Solo creo que algunos van a tomar captura, so go ahead, no problem. So, in the meantime, mientras estamos trabajando en eso, Les voy a pasar asistencia. I'm going to like go over your attendance. Solo me ayudan, porfa, con un eh, present. Ok, cuando les eh, mencione su nombre. Y me ayuda con la cámara, activando siempre la cámara, porfa, para que quede constancia que son ustedes y que Instagram no crea que ponen al sobrinito. <ríe> a decir present, ok. Uh, solo Okay, guys. So, solo los voy a mutear para poder identificar los sonidos eh, de, de quien me está respondiendo. Give me just a few seconds. Okay, so I got, uh, uh, I got, I got, I got Fatima Lopez. Fatima, thank you. Ada Susana. Ada. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Guillermo, Guillermo. Uh, ¿Quién fue el compañero que reportó problemas con el internet? Ok, Guillermo está aquí. Uh, Cristian Alexander. Cristian. Eh, Isaac. Luz Guadalupe. Creo que vi a Luz hace un par de segunditos. Ay, Luz, que se me hizo. Quizás se levantó, right? Ya, yeah, maybe she's not here. Ok. Eh, Elizabeth, Avilene Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Sandra Patricia. Thank you, uh, Edith Janet. Present. Thank you, Edith. Edith Silvia Giron. Present. Thank you, Francisco Eduardo. Present. Thank you, Sandra Beatriz. Present. Thank you, Herson David. Present, teacher. Thank you, Madeline. Present. Thank you, Miss eh, Veronica. Verita está Present, please. Yes. Thank you, Miss. Todavía tenemos dificultades, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero le sigue dando problemas el internet. Sí, siempre me aparece. No, pues sí, Por eso es que a veces creo que no me escucha. Ah, puede ser, fíjense. Y no ha probado hacerlo desde el teléfono. Lo que pasa es que, bueno, ahorita no tengo teléfono. 
Ah, ok. Puedes ir conectada desde... Ok. Ok, no se preocupe. That's fine. Eh, voy, voy a repartirlo igual por si le pueden ayudar o hay otra forma, ¿verdad? No se preocupe. Doris Aime. Present. Doris. Eh, 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 María Milagros. Present. Milagro. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Jennifer. Andrés. Present, teacher. Thank you, Andrés. And César. Sí, César. Eh, oh, César es el que tenía, no tenía problema, ¿verdad? No tenía luz. Vale, entonces. Ni energía. Sí, yo sé, yo sé. Okay. 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 Teacher, okay. era una de cada una. Uh, la más. idea era hacer tres. O eran, o eran tres de cada una. Yeah. <risa> ah, ok. Ah, pues todavía me falta. <risa> ok, ok. ¿Cuánto, ¿Cuántos solo tienen? Solo he hecho tres. Veamos cuántas tienen. O sea, yo solo hice una de cada una. Oh, ok, so you got one. One positive, one negative, one question. Ok. Los demás también tenemos una. Do you have one? Two? Three? Okay, so three. you get two, you get two. Okay, Gerson got three, okay. Okay, no worries. Les voy a darnos eh, dos minutitos más, two more minutes, okay. And, and try to make as many as you can. Um, tantas como puedan, no es necesario que llegamos a las nueve, right? La idea es solamente refrescar un poquito y ver si tenemos, like, dificultades con, con alguna parte de este tema y si no, pues estamos super bien. So two more minutes, two minutes, guys. Dice, podría compartir la pantalla otra vez, please. Salud. Thank you. It's not coronavirus. I'm just sick. <laughs> I got that. The mask great. The mask great. Yeah, but but no, no, hay nadie. Nobody is here. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got the flu. Okay, guys. There you go. Thanks, teacher. So, por eso, guys, si me escuchan un poquito ronquita, a mí, it's the flu. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. Teacher. Yes, miss. Estoy un poco complicada con esto. Uh, dígame, Milagro, ¿con qué se complicó? Ay, no, Positive, no. negative, question, tranquila. Relájese, respire <ríe> y dígame dónde se quedó. Mire, solo he hecho dos positivas, pero okay. ajá, con estoy las negativas, así. con las negativas entonces nos hemos quedado. Sí. Vaya, no, 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 no logro, no, 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 no capto aún. No se preocupe. Uh, okay, so everybody, um, veamos un repaso really quick. Ayúdenme con las positivas. Help me please with your positive sentences. Con tercera persona. Third person, please. ¿Qué tienen? What do you have? Fíjese que yo tengo He reads huh? the, the newspaper in the morning. Okay, this is good. In the morning. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. Next, 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 next person. Next example. ¿Qué más tienen, chicos? He plays soccer. Uh, I'm sorry, can you please repeat? He plays soccer. He plays soccer. Yes. Thank you. Okay, another. Another example. We, we, we. My bro, my bro organized a party on Saturday. Creo que escuché un, un inicio de we, pero no identifiqué the rest. My brother organizes. Ah, ahorita me ayuda. My brother organizes a party on Saturday. On Saturday. Yes. Okay. Organizes a party 
on Saturday. Recordemos que Saturday va con mayúscula. Eh, we, can you please repeat? We. We study English in, uh -huh. the, in the evening. Very good. In the evening. Yes, they are very good examples. Nice. Now, I need your help with negative. So, what are some negative examples, people? With, with. Uh-huh. We. They doesn't go to the mall. They. Does. They don't go to the mall. <laughs> they don't go to the mall. Like this. Como she esta. Doesn't, he doesn't, she doesn't play, in the play volleyball. Okay, uh, let me listen to Edith. He doesn't? He doesn't play in the park. Play the park. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, ¿Otro ejemplo? ¿Any other example? He doesn't check email today. He does not. He doesn't check email. Today. Today. Yes. Okay, thank you. He doesn't check the email today. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are very good examples. So, si sus ejemplos son como ese, if your examples are exactly like this, y tenemos, they don't. Y luego tenemos, he doesn't, she doesn't, etc. Están súper bien. Incluso acá puedo cambiarlo por she doesn't y super, super bien. So remember, ¿Qué dice, he, ¿qué dice she, otra? Dígame, tell me, eh, André. We are not going to the party on the Saturday. Okay, we are not going to the party on Saturday. Yep. Oh, okay, to the party on Saturday. On Saturday. Yes, this is a very good example too. No llevamos um, don or doesn't, pero tenemos el verbo be y e igual cuenta. That's super good. Okay, now, please, ayúdenme con las preguntas. Quizás las preguntas son un poquito más complicadas, right? So, what questions do you have? Does do they write a report? Eh, ok, hold on, hold on, just a quick second. Creo que escuché la voz de alguien más before. Eh, háganme un gran favor, levántenme la mano, creo que es más fácil this way. <risa> nadie, nadie levantó la mano and I heard nadie voices. Levanta. No, pero sí escuché eh, que querían participar, pero no quiere levantar la mano como... <risa> <laughs> Silvia, Silvia, okay, Silvia. Okay, so like. Silvia, let's start with Silvia. <laughs> Do they? Do they? Uh -huh. Why? Right? A report. Yes, very good, Silvia. Thank you. Do they write a report? Uh, Edith, what is yours? Okay, does she go to uh -huh. school? Good. Uh -huh. Very good. Yes, Ada, what is yours? To the does school. Does she go to the party in the Saturday uh -huh. in the night? Does she go to the party on Saturday? Uh -huh. On Saturday at night. Yes, very at good, night. very good. Very good question. Uh, yes, I like it, I like it. Super bien. Las preguntas son bien estructuradas. So, primero das, luego el sujeto y luego el verbo. ¿Las tenemos así? Están, eh, hay algo, una duda que les haya quedado, like how to make positive, negative equations? No. No? O estamos bien, are we good so far? Guys, es una oportunidad, pregunten, sin miedo, sin pena, ask questions. No questions? Quizás, quizás a mí lo que me falta es la estructura, o sea, grabarme la estructura de la oración. Ya, yeah, a I mí, mean, usted le puede escribir, si se le hace más fácil, eh, o a veces aprendemos como de forma mecanizada, digamos, o de forma organizada, any, either way. Por ejemplo, si es una oración positiva, if it's positive, eh, déjenme ver si puedo modificar esto, let me just take a look, no, I can't. Ok, so positive sentences. ¿Qué llevan las positive sentences? Uh, subject, verb, and complement. 
Y solo vamos a recordar que le voy a agregar S el verbo si es he, she, or it. Now, esto es para positive sentences. Uh, negative sentences. ¿Cómo va la negativa, guys? Positive. Positive sentences. Negative sentences. Subject. Y yo voy a agregar don't or doesn't. En ese orden. Doesn't. Luego verb. Este verbo ya va sin cambio. Complement. Complement. Okay. Y ahí va la negativa. Now, questions. ¿Qué sucede con las preguntas? Primero, do or does. Depende cuál es tu sujeto. Depende de este sujeto. Luego el verbo y luego complement. So, si ustedes revisan, complement. Las preguntas de abajo tienen exactamente este orden. Do, subject, verb, and complement. So, es como solamente ir agregando. Eh, les déjenme ver si puedo cambiar este color. Um, no, I think no. No. Ok, no le puedo cambiar colorcito, pero por favor recordemos que solo en las oraciones positivas yo voy a hacer cambio con el verbo, en las demás no. En pretty much, that's it. ¿Solo en las positivas? Solo exactamente. Cambio que... el verbo. Yes, that is correct. Solo en positivas, pero cuando sea una tercera persona singular. Tercera persona singular. Yes. Yes, 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 ma'am. Ok, so vamos si a practicar. ¿Pero tercera ¿verdad? persona en plural? Entonces no lo hago. Por ejemplo, revísenme acá. Esta es tercera persona, pero en plural. We study English. No cambia el verbo. We study. Si yo lo quiero cambiar y digo, por ejemplo, they, they read. Yo no le puedo agregar este porque no es singular. Solo le cambio en he, she, and it. But guys, lo mejor es practicarlo. We really need to practice this. So, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita? Puedo... Eh, ¿Borrar la pantalla? ¿Que no hay eraser? Yes. Yes. Le pueden tomar captura. You can take a screenshot. Y la sí, pueden ir guardando. Yeah. So you can do it. Para su tracker. O lo escriben, you know, write it on the notebook. But, of course, lo mejor es que lo practicamos. So this is what we are going to do mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Okay, let me change a screen. So. What is our next activity today? Practice! We are going to practice in a conversation. So, we are going to, we are going to create a similar conversation to the one that we have right here. What does Dominic do? Oh, she is a secretary. And what does she do every day? Oh, she does this, that, and that. So, vamos a hablar de una tercera persona. We are going to make a conversation talking about a, another classmate, ¿ok? No exactamente como un, un gossip, ¿ok? No como un rumor, no como un chambre, sino como <laughs> describir actividades que realmente hagan, right? Of course, you can be creative, pueden agregar más actividades, and that's super good. So, for example, imagine that I'm talking to, I'm talking to Luz, ¿ok? And I ask her, hey, Lu, hey Luz, 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 Luz. Okay, and I come to Luz, y le pregunto, por ejemplo, de Elizabeth. Luz, tell me, what does Elizabeth do? Well, she is a secretary. Okay, very nice, exactly. So, pero podemos agregar información real. Elizabeth, what do you do? Uh, ¿Qué hace Elizabeth? What is your job? Uh, um, man, manager assistant. Ah, ok, nice. So, en vez de decir, she is a secretary, ponemos información real. She is a manager assistant, right? So, vamos a ir cambiando la información para que sea real. So, and what does she do every day exactly? So, tenemos que escuchar primero qué es lo que ella hace para poder crear la conversación, right? Um, as we did yesterday, vamos a crear grupitos más pequeños para que maximicemos el tiempo de práctica eh, y vamos a presentarla en parejas. Entonces, usted decide con quién va a participar, right? 
So, let's create ahorita los grupos. I'm going to make these groups. And, uh, y ustedes se reparten. Dan grupos de cuatro, entonces dos y dos. Y luego presentamos la conversación. Tenemos diez minutos para crearla. Let's go ahead and practice. Recordemos, apliquemos tercera persona singular, positiva, negativa y pregunta. So, everybody, enjoy it. You got 10 minutes. Y luego los llamo para que regresen. So, let's go. Let's go, everybody. Let's go. O sea, por ejemplo, iba a ser What does Sandra do? Ah, hablaríamos de, de otro compañero entre nosotros dos. Ajá, yo así entendí. Ah, yo igual, así. Que a, no nos íbamos Ajá. a poner nosotros porque Ajá. ya no seríamos tercera persona. Ajá. Pues entonces Según hablaríamos de, de Verónica. ¿Cómo era, teacher, cómo era de, de, de practice? Pero íbamos a hablar de nosotros o iba, por ejemplo, yo hablaba con Avelyn y decía, what, eh, ya me surgió la duda, si era, what, siempre sería, what does eh, Andrés do? Yeah, yeah, exactly. The idea, guys, es utilizar tercera persona. Entonces vamos a como a preguntar, no de mí ni de usted, sino que de, de un externo, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo... Eh, imagine that in the group, eh, Sandra y Elizabeth están trabajando juntas, ¿all right? Entonces ustedes, chicas, van a preguntar de André, ¿all right? Se van a preguntar de una tercera persona. Si, por ejemplo, Verónica y, y Andrés trabajan juntos, entonces sus preguntas... Uh, oh, what happened? <laughs> what happened in my audio se activó, no hay nadie. <laughs> There's nobody here, okay. So, por ejemplo, si Verónica y Andrés están hablando, eh, van a preguntar ya sea de Elizabeth o de Sandra, right? So, de una tercera persona para que utilicemos. Oh, where well, Sandra eh, is a manager and she supervises her team every single day. She moves to the different eh, companies in El Salvador, etc., etc., 
concepto de una tercera persona, de alguien que no sean ustedes dos. Esa es la idea de third person singular. Como, como, un, como un rumor, right? como un medio chambre, let's say. <risa> Aplicando tercera o sea, como, persona como, singular. Como, que conoce, como lo que conocemos de esa persona o lo que exacto, sabemos de esa exacto. persona. Exacto. Lo que pueden hacer es, pueden preguntarle antes para que sea información real y no inventemos tanto. Y no chambre. Ya, 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 that's right. Okay. De acuerdo. Thank you. Thanks, teacher. Welcome. Vaya, Verónica, como vamos a hablar de usted, ¿a qué se dedica? Cuénteme, Verónica. Hola, hola. Yo este, soy ingeniero industrial. Industrial Ajá. I work in I love <laughs> I, I love logistic. Industrial engineer. Uh -huh. Okay. Ya regreso, chicos. Solo voy a poner agüita. Okay. That's working, Veronica. I uh, working in funde, fund Fundaciones, fun, no, no foundation, o oh, sí, foundation. ¿Sí? ¿El, foundation. ¿El nombre de la fundación? Eh, Fusalmo. Hola. Ahí soy la, la multiusos. Ajá, chócalo. ¿Cómo se dice? Quédate. Oh, I see work. She worked in Fusalmo. Uh -huh. She worked in Fusalmo. Foundation Fusalmo. Uh -huh. vale, por ejemplo, entonces, va en mi caso sería, what does, eh, ¿de quién hablaríamos? ¿De Andrés o de Avenai, Sandra? O sea, en ese caso, ah, bueno. No, no ajá, ilustra. para, que, ajá, para uh -huh. que nosotros empecemos a establecer ya. Eh, escojan y nosotros, y nosotros uh -huh. decimos. Uh -huh. Sandrita, ¿a quién escogemos? Financial statement. Okay. Um, it's only that. Okay. Entonces, ahorita hagamos la, la, las, las, la, la conversación, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, entonces va a ser en parejas, entonces sería, no sé quién es, si quieren ir juntas ustedes, ¿quién es? Digan, yo, yo. Fátima. Fátima, ¿con quién? Fátima, ¿te queda conmigo? Ok. No, okay. Fátima. Fátima con Ada. Ok, Fátima y Ada y Sandra y yo. Vamos a hacer los grupos, ¿ok? Ok. Entonces, si quieren, hacemos, hacemos un diálogo eh, universal para ambos, para ambas parejas. ¿Está okay, okay, teacher? Ok. Ok. Eh, yeah, or, or you can be creative, you know. Eh, lo dejo a su creatividad. I leave, you, I leave it up to you. <laughs> ok. Person eh, one. Sería, sería, en mi caso sería Gerson y Sandra. Ok, entonces, no sé si usted quiere ir primero, Ada y Fátima, y ustedes pongan así en su cuaderno. Ok. Entonces. O sea, yo ¿verdad? le preguntaría a Fátima y Fátima a mí, y la segunda Ajá, conversación, exacto. usted con Sandra. Ajá, o sea, sería la misma conversación en, en ambos, solamente que con okay. las actividades de cada uno. Ok. Ok. okay. Ok, eh, what, eh, hello, hello, eh, Sandra, how are you? Sandra. Ahorita, ahorita, de que hay que cargo este ramotillo. Entonces usted me va a poner, hello, 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 hello Fátima, hello. how are you? How are you? No, solamente que usted, Sandra, eh, Va a poner, o sea, 
No va a poner Gerso, sino que usted en la segunda línea va a poner lo que a usted le corresponde. Ya, ya, ya. Entonces me dices hello, Sandra Jaguar. Sandra, you. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm fine. And you? Fine. And you? Here, son. Well, it's good today for me. It's a good day for me. It's a good day well, for it's... me. Entonces, it, well, o oh, está bien, well, it's a good day for me. Entonces, Aquí Sandra... Aquí le puedo preguntar yo, what does her son do? No, me va a poner, no. digamos, Ada o Fátima, porque estamos hablando de otra persona. Ah, ok. Por eso es que hemos anotado anteriormente lo que cada uno hace para que, para que anotemos las cosas que, la, la, digamos, Ada o Fátima hace. Entonces me puede preguntar qué es lo que hace Ada y Fátima. Absol Quiero ver. Absolutamente. Absolutamente. Eh, ¿Does he arrive, arrive early? Yes. Eh... Christian, he arrived 7 a.m. Okay, thank you for information. Okay. Thanks. Más o menos va. Sí. Yo más o menos. Oh, you're doing a nice okay. job. That's nice. <laughs> Teacher, teacher. Hello, teacher. You are Hello. Sick. Yeah, I'm a little sick, but, but I'm listening to you guys. I'm listening to you. So no worries. Okay. Entonces creo que íbamos nosotros otra vez, Silvia, para que nos escuche. Vaya. Okay. Solo que habla fuerte que no oigo. Okay, ¿me escuchas ahora? Sí. <laughs> Uh, hi Silvia, good evening. Are you How are you? There, Silvia? Excuse me. Is it raining? Is it raining? Yes. Hi. We might have to. Hi Silvia. Hi Christian. Uh, what does Edith do? Well, Edith is a supervisor. She supervises a woman and she doesn't supervise a man. And Edith serves a customer because she works in the Santis company. Okay, interesting. And does she, Ed, does Edith arrive early to work? No, she doesn't arrive early. Okay, thanks for information. To You're welcome. Teacher, una pregunta. ¿Cómo se yeah, dice yeah, yeah. pringando? Um, eh, there is a word that you can use. I'm going to share this in the chat. Porque es como un poquito rarita la palabra. Give me a second. Uh, we use the word. It is, oh, okay. It is drizzling. Drink. Drizzling. Yeah, so we can use it is drizzling. Mm -hmm. Es como está lloviznando. Uh -huh. oh, okay. So, no sé si pueden ver el chat, si no, tal vez yeah. cuando regresen. Ah, vaya, okay, so it's drizzling. Okay. Yeah, I think it's I... the area where I live, que casi llueve todos los días. <laughs> But like yes. tormentas enormes, I don't know, creo que hay demasiada humedad allí. Okay. Hi Francisco. Hi Edith, how are you? Fine, thanks. I have a question. 
Uh, what does Christian do? Christian works in central hydraulica. He is a uh, quality control. Oh, I see. What does he do every day exactly? Um, uh, Christian checks uh, finished production. And... Ah, lo mismo, que está allí. Solamente que le agrega la S porque está hablando en tercera persona. Ajá. She arrived very, que como que muy early. Ah, yeah. early. Mm -hmm. That's she. Doris, ¿y, y usted qué, qué, dígame qué hace en su trabajo para ir avanzando? <risa> no, porque usted, ah, sí, con Madeline es que le va a hacer. Sí. Ajá, de usted vamos a hablar nosotras. Ah, vale. Escribo reportes. Write reports. She sí. write reports. ¿Qué más? Hago el cálculo de pago para incapacidades. In English, please. Gran poder de Dios. ¿Cómo voy a saber eso yo? Aquí está el traductor. Calcula. Vaya, vaya, calcula. vamos a traducir. No, hace cálculos. He do the, he do, he, cálculos she, para ella, ella. incapacidades. Ajá. Dice, makes calculation for disabilities. Disability cal calcula calculations, dice. He makes... Hace cálculos para incapacidades. Ah, mira, yo puse, hace cálculos para incapacidades y el traductor me puso Maze Calculation for Disabilities. Sí. La teacher nos va a decir lo mejor. Teacher. Teacher. Yeah, 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 I'm here, I'm here. I was listening to, to your options, but quería escuchar primero qué es lo que encontraban. <laughs> Teacher, okay. eh, si queremos, queremos poner que Doris hace cálculos para incapacidades, makes calculation for disabilities. No. A mí el traductor me salió, he makes disability, dis, dis, disability cal calculations. Es como... Oh, Como lo mismo, casi. Just that way. Lo que sucede es que de incapacidad, eh, el traductor lo ve como si fuera discapacidad. Entonces creo que la palabra, eh, por alguna razón, la, la encuentran mal. Pero no, incapacidad en, en inglés es medical leave. ¿Cómo? Lo comparto es? en el chat. Está en el chat. Medical, medical leave. Oh, Así como esa palabra leave. es la misma que me dijo que era hoja. Oh, ya, yeah, a lead, ajá, uh -huh. mm. no, no, pero, eso oh, es el plural, uh -huh. ese es el plural, yes, o puede decir okay. doctor's leave. Se nos perdió. Medical leave. Ah, medical Doctor's leave. Makes calculation medical leave. Yep, ya. Yeah. Oh. So, porque si usted me le pone, eh, inca, no, ¿cuál era la palabra, yeah. perdón? Disability. Disability. Disability es cuando usted tiene un problema serio que le falta, por ejemplo, un brazo, una pierna, o usted no puede hablar. Es un discapacitado. Entonces, eh, pero creo que Doris trabaja con recursos humanos. Eso yes. es como yes. medical leave, como incapacidad. Entonces sería, she makes the medical leave calculator. O calcul no sé like calculation, ajá. Uh -huh. Or she makes the medical leave report. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or she yeah. process medical leave discount, porque entiendo que a veces hay descuentos Report. también. Entonces, uh -huh, or, uh, o en general, podemos incluir payroll. So she process the payroll, la planilla en donde va todo, ¿verdad, Doris? Yes. Vaya, entonces la última sería payroll. Payroll. she process payroll. y process 
es, es, estamos hablando de un verbo. Y lo escribo process, así, con doble S. Yes. O proceses. Sí, porque estaba porque hablando de ella. De ella. She processes, she processes. She processes the payroll. Ok. Teacher, nada más que, como somos cuatro, no hemos terminado ni la primera conversación. Yes, I understand. No se preocupen, le voy a dar un par de minutitos más eh, para que, no es necesario que escriban todo, right? You, so, no es necesario que hagamos como la conversación de fe a pa totalmente escrita. Podemos improvisar un poquito porque es la idea, que vayamos haciendo más independientes. Tienen alrededor de cuatro minutos. You got like four minutes. Pues eso podemos empezar a practicar. ¿Por qué te vas? Eh, si quieren, terminemos la de Doris. Sí, así está. Eh, he is the first person to write on the off. Así, no ah, como pregunta. He is the ah, first bien. person. Ah, es, ah, sería, he is, he is the first person to write in the office. Sí, yeah. He is the, the first person to write in the office. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok. Mm -hmm. Como admiración. Repeat, uh, repeat, Verónica. Repeat. He repeat, Verónica. He is the first person to arrive in the office. Yeah. Well done. Uh -huh. okay. He is the first person to arrive in the office. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well done. Hi there. Hello, hello. ¿Cómo vamos, chicos? ¿Ya terminaron? Hello, ready? teacher. Yes. yes, finished. Well done. Oh, okay. Very good, very good. So, I will give you one more minute. Si necesitan practicar one more time, go ahead. Tienen un minuto y luego los eh, llevo a la otra meeting, okay? One minute, one minute. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Lo repetimos otra vez. Otra vez. Otra vez. Yes. Okay. What does Veronica do? Ada works in the hospital and she checks patients uh, to help ones and she is a surgery assistant. Really? Yes, they are good person. I know them. Okay, person. Bye. See you later. Sí, claro. Ok, eh, solo recordar de que las, en, en las últimas, donde hacemos las actividades de cada persona, todas tienen que agregarle S porque estamos hablando de una tercera persona, ¿verdad? En el caso de nosotros, eh, Sandra es send the emails, write reports y answers call. Ok. And and in the Ada is works in the hospital and she checks patients and to help one and she is a surgery assistant. Okay. Agreguenle ese Ada y Fatima las actividades que nosotros tenemos también. Okay. Okay. Teacher. Hi guys. Well, I'm listening to you. And I hear that. Todo lo tiene listo. Everything's ready. Yeah? Ready. Ready to work? Yes? Yes. Super ready. Okay, nice, nice guys. Okay. It's a, it's a short conversation, but uh, it's, it's a short but good conversation. <laughs> nice, nice. Don't worry, don't worry. Like this, que practiquemos as much as we can. Ok, los voy a pulear ahorita para la miren. Give me a second. Ok.
Solo esperemos un minutito mientras se une el resto. Ok. Okay, everybody, so thank you for coming back. Uh, we are going to listen to you guys. Okay, we want to listen to your uh, presentation also. Uh, do I have volunteers? Tengo algún voluntario. Do I have any volunteers? No volunteers today? No, tiene que poner la ruleta, teacher. No y te toca porque es lo primero. <risa> ok, 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 but no worries. Comenzamos con la primera letra del abecedario. A. Ah, y comienza con A. Ada. 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 Ok, all right, let's start with you. <risa> Menos mal que la segunda letra de, la, de A es D. No, porque ya estaba diciendo iba yo también. Ya casi, casi. Ok, Ada, ¿con quién es su compañero? Hello, Ada. Ada, eh, Hello. pongan, pongan, quita el mute. Ya, ya, ya. Hello, Ada. Hello, Fatima. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Eh, ¿Cuál? What do her son and Sandra do? Uh, uh, her son is a accountant and, and Sandra is a teacher. What do they do every day? Uh, her son is a check the emails, check at bank accounts, make at a financing statement, and Sandra a created class for the student and the teacher the readers. Really? Yes. They are a good person. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent <laughs> job. <laughs> nice <laughs> emojis. <laughs> emojis. Hey, emoji, for emojis. Them. Applausos. <laughs> yeah, so emojis. Nuestros aplausos son los emojis. Yes. So, si ya tienen la actualización, eh, hay decorazones de fiesta, you know, like crying, etc. So, you can have emojis as your applause. Yes, thank okay. you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Ada. Ada, next person. Selecciona. You choose. Her song. <laughs> okay. The, the mismo grupo. Okay. No problem. Hello. Um, hello, Sandra. How are you? I am fine. And you? Well, it's a good day for me. And you? Fine, thank you. Uh, what do what do Fatima and Ada do? Well, uh, Fatima is a receptionist and Ada is a doctor. Yes. Wow, interesting. What do you, they do every day? Well, uh, Fatima and um, Fatima send the emails, uh, write the reports, answer the calls, and Ada uh, works in the, the hospital, and she checks patents, she checks patents, and to help ones, and she's a surgery assistant. Really? Yes, they are a good person, I know them. Okay, Harrison, <laughs> see you later. Bye. Nice. See you later. nice, nice. Very good job. Very good job. That was very nice. So, Sandra, I like it. Very, very clear. Person, super, super good. 
Uh, Ada, just a question. Um, where do you work? Where? Where do el, you el, work? El, el micrófono, Ada. El micrófono, mute. Y en, en del seguro, en hospital privado también. Yes. Oh, oh, so you work for Seguro Social? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Nice, very good to hear. Okay. And you are a surgery assistant? Sí, nosotros damos asistencia a cirugía mínima invasiva. Oh, okay, okay. Like cutting. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Okay, uh, Sandra, next person, next person. Christian. Hello, Christian. <laughs> Hola. Eh, me tocó con Silvia a mí. Ok. Silvia. Creo que Silvia estaba teniendo dificultades hace un par de minutitos, right? Sí, no sé creo si ya que... la escuchamos. Silvia. Hello, no. Silvia. Hello. Nos toca. Okay. Uh, hi, Silvia. Good evening. How are you? Hi. Hi, Christian. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. And what does Edith do? Well, Edith is a supervisor. She supervises a woman. She doesn't supervise a man. And Edith service a customer because she works in the Santis company. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, does Edith arrive early to work? No. She doesn't arrive early. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. Very nice. It caught my attention. Uh, you said uh, Edith doesn't arrive early. Edith, what time do you arrive? Eight uh, o'clock. arrive eight o'clock. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so that's not early. <laughs> okay, okay. That's the normal schedule we got. All right. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, Christian, next and the last. The next and the last, let's go. Sandra Patricia Muñoz. Sandra, ya sabía, no sé por qué, but she was ready. <laughs> okay, Sandra. Okay, uh, Veronica. <coughs> Veronica, micrófono. Hi, me escucha. Okay, ahora sí. Okay. Uh, what does Andre do? What does a... What does Andre? What does Andre do? He is silent assistant. Oh, I see. What does he do every day exactly? He works as work out, make salads, check emails. That's so pretty. Does he arrive early? Yeah. He is the first person to, uh, to arrive in the office. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, girls. Um, vamos. Um, Andre. Oh, okay. They, they selected you, Andre. Andre. Okay. Okay. It, it called my attention. It called okay. my attention, guys, because they said that Andre is the first person to arrive to work. Yeah? What time? What time do you arrive, Andre? I am arrived at eight o'clock. 
that got eight o'clock. Eight a.m. o'clock. Okay. That's contract. And really, <laughs> I am right. That's nine a.m. Three t. I am o'clock. That uh, traffic is complicated. Okay. Okay, but you arrived early. That that's okay. That's just fine. Okay, so Andres, who was your person? Who was your classmate? They Abby, Shavy, Abby Line. Okay, eh, voy a comenzar. Dice, what okay. does Veronica do? Well, she is an uh, industrial engineer. Oh, I see. What does she do every day? Exactly. Working, she working is uh, organized the bands. She is his assistant, the, the boss. She's a hard working woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Yeah. She is uh, the first person to arrive in the office. Thank you. Very good. Very nice and very clear. Thank you so much, guys. Emojis, guys. Thank you. Remember, emojis are our applauses. Okay. Thank you, everybody. That was pretty good. Eh, so that is third person singular. Si tenemos dificultades, luego vamos a revisar también en la parte de la tarea. Now, eh, I have just one more activity for you guys before we finish. And this is related to eh, a little bit of grammar and vocabulary. It says, Complete the paragraph with the words in the box and make sure to write them in the correct space. So, vamos a completarlo. Tengamos un poquito de cuidado con terceras personas, please. Y cuando terminen, solamente me dan eh, confirmación verbal, teacher, finish, or done. Okay, para saber más o menos cuántos me faltan que terminen y cuántos ya están listos. So, I'll give you some minutes. Let me know when you are ready. Chair, a question.
thank you for the confirmation. Done. Okay, everybody. So let, let's take a look. Uh, so, regresamos together. Let's take a look together. En la primera, from Monday to Friday, Dominic. El primer espacio, ¿qué tiene? What do you have? Dominic wake, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Dominic. Wake up. 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 Wake up.
Pues tal vez el Don't de, worry. Mañana son minutos. No, we got to. La semana se mete nos pide Insta for it. <laughs> okay. So, and uh, vamos con sesiones uno a uno. Así que I'm going to be there. Thank you, everybody, and have a good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 I see you tomorrow. See you tonight. tomorrow. See you tomorrow, tonight. Tonight. Yeah.